the eye and the defects of vision the human eye is a natural camera it is a valuable and sensitive organ let us understand the working and defects of the eye you know that lens can bend light after refraction a converging or convex lens bends the light rays towards its principal axis while a diverging or concave lens bends the light rays away from the principal axis the bending of light depends on the thickness of the lens a converging lens produces a real and inverted image of an object when it is located outside the focal point each eye consists primarily of a converging lens and an image sensor the lens is a combination of the front of the eyeball the cornea and the lens beneath the cornea the retina is the image sensor it contains vast patterns of light sensitive cells called rods and cones which sense the color and intensity of light the iris located in the front of the lens controls the amount of light entering the eye by contracting or expanding its size the ciliary muscles enable the eye to focus on near or distant objects by changing the shape of the lens the light from the outside objects enter through the transparent cornea aqueous humor the lens and vitreous humor to focus onto the retina the optic nerves then transport the resulting pattern of light to the brain the brain then processes it to a meaningful image adjustment of the pupil and lens regulate the entry and focusing of light this is called the accommodation of the eye eyes also suffer from defects some minor defects can be corrected by wearing eye glasses with appropriate lenses a person who cannot see nearby objects clearly is far sighted or suffering from hypermetropia this happens because the lens being too thin does not refract enough light and has a very long focal length the light rays from nearby objects cannot focus by the time they reach the retina to correct this defect a converging lens is used this lens bends the light rays together before they enter the eye the eye lens then completes the bending and the real image is formed on the retina in contrast a person who is near sighted is unable to focus on distant objects because the eye lens is too thick and therefore has a shorter focal length it refracts the light rays too much focusing at a position before it reaches the retina to compensate for near sightedness or myopia a diverging lens is used that bends light rays apart the lens thus forms a virtual image of a far object at the far point of the eye the rays then appear to come from a nearer object the eye lens is then able to focus them on the retina the eye lens of elderly people becomes milky and cloudy this condition is called cataract cataract causes partial or complete loss of vision a cataract surgery is done to restore the vision subscribe now and press the bell icon never miss an update